I'm introing this one because I'm going to heap praise on Brandon who just wrote an article everyone needs to check out on NewOrleans.football about the secondary. Um, the collaboration going on from from the old heads, as they say, like <laughs> Tyron Matthew, yeah. Marshawn Lattimore when he came back, um, Paulson Debo now becoming a veteran, and, and even the young guys like Miller Bradford. Mm-hmm. And just we there's so much talent in there. Alante Taylor, Kool-Aid McKinstry, Jonathan Abram. There's so much talent in this group, and – they really seem to be embracing like their role as, hey, we're the guys who are driving the train. Definitely. And the thing that really stood out is the two differences in leadership styles between Lattimore and Matthew. Those are the two older guys in there. Matthew, he's more of a, hey, follow me. I'll show you the way. You know, I'll, I'll take you under my wing. I'll, I'll build you up. I'll help you learn about this, learn about that. Just a bunch of off-the-field stuff, like just participating with these guys in action. But don't let that fool you and think that Lattimore is not also a leader because he's like, look, I won't tell you what to do, but I'll show you what I do. And if you choose to come along with that, then follow along. So I, I think that's really interesting. Um, another thing is Millet Bradford. We talked about him uh, a couple of segments ago. He's not guaranteed to be on this team like some of these other guys are, but he's taken just all the knowledge that he can from every player in that secondary to help build himself up and become an NFL player. So I think it's really interesting to see that. Uh, Abram was talking about, you know, how he learns from Tyron, and even though they're, you know, closer kind of in age. Yeah. Abram, Abram is a little bit younger, but they're still he's not a rookie. He's yeah. not a fresh player in this league. He's been on a couple of different teams. And he was saying even coming out of college, like Tyron kind of was hitting them up and everything like that when they were rivals, when he played for the Raiders and Tyron played for the Chiefs. So, it's very interesting to see the, the love that these guys have for each other in terms of development and everything like that. Tyron even said, like, hey, I could have been left. I could have been left. But the thing that's keeping me around is seeing these guys yeah. get paid. <laughs> 